So, super important thing is for all of you guys to know all of us that work here and a little bit about our lives and and how that that looks like what's behind what are the people that you're dealing with behind the scenes because that's what we want to deal with people we want to know you your pcs who you like um and just about you because that's what's so wonderful about the hobby so you know a lot about me you know too much probably and then now you've gotten to meet david a little bit but i'll do this with david but i wanted to introduce the newest member of our team but an old friend yeah and ask some questions kind of interview style with Trey Huntsman who is going to be in the shop every day and a guy that people get to know and talk to a lot and I know you all love him like we do but first tell us about you like how where are you from and and kind of how did you get to this point yeah absolutely so I am from Bowling Green Kentucky so South Central Kentucky I'm, you can kind of hear it in the voice just a little bit, kind of like Jimmy. Yay. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna hear a little more twang whenever you come into our shop than most. But I actually uh, graduated from University of Kentucky, so it's pretty dope. Everything in here, I love it. Uh, I worked for. I'm sure if you're a Kentucky fan at all, you'll know it. But I worked for Kentucky Sports Radio for all four years while I was at UK. Big fans. Yeah. Big yeah. fans of KSR. Yeah. So I worked for Matt Jones, all those guys. I was the baseball dude and football recruiting, a little bit of basketball recruiting. That was. My speed, I was actually journalist, podcaster, all of that stuff. For still about, are a podcaster. Yeah, still are a podcaster. Still am a podcaster. But uh, did that for a long time. Really enjoyed it. But after I graduated, moved back home just for a little while back, like I said, to Bowling Green. And then wound up moving to Louisville to work at Louisville Slugger for a year and a half. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, it was fantastic. Great folks over there. It was awesome to be that close with baseball history for as long as I was. But, you know, I've told people for a long time, I've told you this, that I have people ask me, you know, what's your dream job? What do you right. love? What is something that you could see yourself doing for the rest of your life? And I've always said, well, I don't really have something. You know, I love podcasting. Like I said, I was play by play. I was broadcast. I did all of these different things and I love it. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't the actual job that I enjoyed. It was the experience. And I loved yeah. that experience every week. Yeah. So when Jimmy came to me and said, look, and I remember the exact FaceTime. It was me, you, and Alex Connell. Yeah. And he comes up and he says, I've got this crazy idea. And I've heard that since a few times. A couple times since yeah. you've been here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he said, i got this crazy idea to open a shop. And I, at the time, you know, the Lord gave me an opportunity to leave Louisville right. and move here. And I was like, man, I, I can do this with you. Oh, I yeah. said, if you need me, no I said, let's that. do this thing. And uh, he said, yeah, I think we can make this work. And that's what I wanted. I wanted somebody that cared about history and people and that combination of both, which I always thought. And yeah. we both agree the cards are. Yeah, they're a and vehicle for what we want to do. It's funny that that FaceTime came up on a FaceTime with Alex Connell, who you met through cards, and yeah. we met through cards, all virtually all on Instagram. And then now it's led to this yeah. where you've seen all this wonderful stuff with Louisville Slugger and with KSR and, and with your own podcast, which y'all should look. If you like college baseball, this guy gets guys from MLB.com, LSU coaches, Kentucky coaches, yeah. like all awesome. over. Been blessed. It's the that. college baseball show. It's really good. And But I always feel like people like you, especially when you're young, you don't get the opportunity much to be in a job where you can create. Or like raise your hand and you have a voice because it's hard in corporate America to have that until you learn. But but you'll have that here, yeah. As you see already, yeah. It's like every day that I come in, you know, I have a lot of my friends talk about man. It's like I'm I'm really putting in the hours and maybe getting one percent of right. the say here, right? But whenever all of us come in, it's me, you, it's David, it's Holly, it's Kathy, it's my girlfriend Emily. Uh, we all come in, and if one of us has an idea and it's good, then we go, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get, yeah, let's get it. So that's what's so cool about this. And that's why, you know, I, I looked into it and I was sitting with Emily one night and I was like, pro cons, let's do this thing. Let's let's look at this because it's a big change. Let's, let's think about it. Like, you know, we're saying this is a startup. Yep. You know, Jimmy <laughs> believes in this. I believe in Jimmy. Jimmy believes in me. It's yep. all there. And I was like, this is something that, 
most kids, well, not kids, but, you know, mid-20s, yeah, 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 younger dudes, like, they don't get a chance to create right. and do something. And, you know, the funny part about this is it's kind of like Hogwarts in a way. It's uh-huh. kind of like... Until you see it, you don't really believe that it's there. Yes. Like, I brought my parents in here last week, and I was like, you guys have to understand, this is different. You need to step through that door and understand what's happening. And, you know, a lot of people that are watching this, they're probably like, it's a car shop. Right. What what can it be? Right. It's not. It's different. It's really cool. I mean, the stuff on the wall is amazing. It's awesome. It's really cool stuff. You have to understand. Like, what's behind me, this is the best night of my life that we have hanging up here at signed by all those guys. It's so cool to me. But what's cool is when you come in here, you're going to meet me. You're going to meet Jimmy. If you haven't already, you'll meet David. You'll meet our girlfriends, our wives, whoever is in here. And we're almost just, we're so zeroed in on you because we want you to have the best experience in whatever way, shape or form you want to have that experience here. If you want to come in and play a game of NBA jam, do it. You, you want, want to take pictures you? on the court? Do it. Yeah. Seriously. You want to come in here and rip eight cases of National Treasures? You can do that. Right. You want to come in here and look on the iPads and flip cards and look for $5 cards? You're going to do that, but it's going to be different than right. you've ever done. Right. You're not going to sit there and flip, 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 flip and have that normal, quiet ESPN playing in the background. Right. It's going to be different. And you have to come in here and see that. And that's why I'm just so proud to come in here because right, we have man. something to – set up right like we have something that is i can't even explain it it's is it heaven no it's iowa <laughs> right know? right like, like you, like you have to guy here too by the way but anyway it's not the kevin show. costner that would be awesome <laughs> i the dad that would Ready be cool now um so as you started like all of us collector yeah who they gotta know who who are your teams who are yeah what do you collect and why? Yeah, so kind of a backstory where I come from collecting. So my dad collected and he gave me a lot of his stuff, you know, 80s, 90s, right. like anybody's dad during that time. Uh, he gave me a lot of all of those for me to sort when I was a kid. And it was 2004 tops. Uh huh. Yeah, that, that was my first year of collecting. And like I said, I'm a big baseball guy. So that was so cool to me. You know, my parents were getting me cards and everything, and it became a really special memory. And it became year after year, I was excited for that. And, you know, you hear a lot of kids like, oh, I collected when I was a kid. No, I collected as a kid. And if you come in here, one thing about me is my girlfriend, my mom, everybody kind of talks about the encyclopedia that's in my head. It's true. It's like, true. Can, He's my baseball guy. Like, I can tell you pretty much anybody that was drafted NFL draft the last 20 years. Yeah. It's just in my head. I can tell you their college. I can tell you their combine. Right. And I'm sure it annoyed the ever loving crap out of my parents. But, you know, growing up, the reason I could do that was because of cards. Yep. So I would get cards, read the backs, all of that stuff. So I collected pretty heavily tops, all that. Football was my other big thing. Right. But it wasn't until I, I want to say either 07 or 08 Bowman. Right. That that's when it flipped for me. Really? Because one thing that you have to know about me is I love prospects. Right. Yeah. So prospecting is something. You can come in here anytime and we'll talk college ball, we'll talk prospects, all of that stuff. Yeah. Like that's something that means a lot to me that I enjoy. Like I, I did scouting research for the Tampa Bay Rays, which is funny because I'm a diehard Dodgers fan. So I don't, know, right. I don't know if the Rays are going to send me a <laughs> ring if they win <laughs> this year or what, but – no, I'm a Dodgers fan. Uh, you asked me my teams. I'm diehard Dodgers fan because of Ben Scully and because of Clayton Kershaw. I graduated from UK. I'm a diehard uh, Kentucky football fan, which is weird because most people lead off right. with basketball. Yep. But football means a great deal to me uh, because the most important thing in my life is my family. Right. And that's something my family and I have shared for ever and ever is right. Kentucky football through twos and tens to. Being at the Citrus and the Belt Bowls, yep. stuff like that means a great deal to me. Uh, now, one weird thing is I'm an Oregon fan. Right. My dad is a big Oregon fan, uh, so is my mom. And I fly out to Autzen once a year for, for a uh, Oregon football game. So if you want to come in and talk a little Pac-12 after dark, I can do that as well. So I'm Which excited. Which is really rare around here. Yeah, I know. People yeah. make fun of like West Coast football, and I'm like, are we going to do this? Right, like, are right. We gonna, are we right. going to talk about this? My PC, what I've collected forever, uh, 
Oregon fans, so my big thing is Marcus Mariota. Uh, number two is yep. Dansby Swanson. Yep. Those are my two big guys. And after that, uh, I have a really, really bad addiction to opening packs. So pretty much anything. Why I put him in charge? I yeah, mean, exactly. Dangerous. Yeah, that once that shelf is full here in a little oh, while, man. man. It's right. going to be like, hey, Jimmy, what, what can, what can we do on this? I'm going to have to wheel me in like Lecter every day. Oh, my gosh, man. Dude, once we get the Like, you have to understand what's coming in. Like, it's it's going to be wild. It's going to be pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. I was going to say, so, in NFL football. Yeah. I'm a big Tennessee Titans fan. Led off with Marcus, and, of course, he's IR on the Raiders right now. But right. huge Titans fan. Yep. Uh, that's actually – my girlfriend's a bigger Titans fan than I am. She has been her whole life. Uh, but love the Titans, love Derrick Henry. Uh, which, being a Titans fan, that's like the most Southern thing. Like, yeah, it's a big thing around here. Yeah. You know, it used to be all Bengals, and now it's Titans yeah. and Bengals in this part of the world. Yeah. So, is there a moment, a a top sports defining moment in history in your life? Where in my you, life? In, where you remember, like, that's when I knew I was going to, I was such the best night of my life in terms of watching sports and I know you kind of mentioned this, but were you like this? I can't get enough of this, and yeah. and I can't get. Enough, I want all their cards. I want to be in on this. This is. Should I just move out of the way for this picture? Yeah, right. Yeah. No. Uh, this the big thing for me growing up. Oh gosh, man, that's a that's a great question. Um, I've loved sports. I grew uh-huh. up Peyton Manning fan. All of that. But the first team that I think that just like it hit something in here. Yes. And like I said. You really don't understand the amount of sports I watch. Right. Like right. it's not like oh he's a collector he watches. Sure. No, I'm saying like it's everything. Right. Uh, but the first team that really got to me was either those mid 2000s Kentucky football teams yeah. with Andre Woodson, Keenan Burton, yeah, those awesome guys, or this team. Uh, so this team, if you're not familiar with Kentucky sports. That was the team that went to the Citrus Bowl, but the year before it was the year that we beat Louisville, the yep. year that Lamar fumbled. Yep. Um, and that was the first time that I openly wept right. over right. Like, a happy, right. joyful thing uh, because that that meant so much to me because I was like, man, I was like, like twenty eight point underdog. I was like, game week. yeah, and because I'd been there watching us get steamrolled by you right. know, WKU and all this, right. and to watch us, I'm like, we just beat the Heisman Trophy. Mm-hmm. And then the next year to come out and win the Swamp. And the first game that's ever watched here in the right. Kentucky Road Show was, awesome. was last Saturday. My parents, Jimmy and I, sat in here and watched Kentucky beat Tennessee. So that was so, was so, so cool. And that's the kind of thing we want when people come in here. Yes. It's like we want to go home and be like, man, I was at Jimmy's Road Show and we wa- I watched – it could be anything. I mean, we watched yeah, Kentucky yeah. play A&M last night. It was right. so cool. We opened cards and hung out. That's the thing, man. Like we want, we want to sell cards. We want people to come in and buy cards. Right. We want to sell singles. We want you to come to our signs. We want to do all of that. But the big thing is, man. Like if you come in here and you buy twenty thousand dollars worth of cards, or if you simply come in here to say what's up, right? You're gonna get the same it's exact the same fun, thing. good times. Yeah, and, and I get to sit with you and talk baseball prospecting, yeah. which I can't do. Like that's a big thing. Like I want everybody yeah. that kind of find their niche yeah and you can provide yeah. that on a lot of things yeah and you know my niche like i said is baseball it's been what i've done forever uh it's a large part of my collection yeah uh that and football uh basketball i mean i let jimmy handle all that but it's you know that's actually what i play and nice. you can i don't you can't really see a whole lot here about the frame <laughs> but uh my career lasted it didn't it, it I didn't get a. I didn't get that second contract. Yeah, you, you get this. I, I didn't get a max. Let's just put it that way. I was. Uh, it, it, it hurts me watching Duncan Robinson live my best life. Oh my gosh, he's living because all that's exactly like the role that I had, and they're right. like, stop shooting. Right. I was like, hush, it's church league. I'm pumping threes. Right. This entire <laughs> right. Time. But uh, no, it, it it hurts. But no, I played basketball growing up, so that's awesome. Yeah. So. I guess the the last thing that I'm wondering is, we all have a lot of dreams for this place. You got your niche. You you know what to do in here in terms of what we want to do and create that the special side of stuff for somebody who walks in. But what are you hoping for? Is there anything 
down like I hope we get to this point or yeah. I hope that I get to do this one day in here or this way um, besides just, going to Scotland uh, hopes and dreams yeah. yes yes um, but well, we're going to travel I wanna, I have some besides going to Australia, Australia. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see big... the Australian card shops that's yes. what I want that, that's, that's it no um, my hopes and dreams are probably a little bit different uh-huh. uh, and I think it's a big reason why you wanted me to come uh-huh. in here uh, because you know I my big thing is I, I love a couple things I love baseball and I love helping people mm-hmm. and this store is going to be a vehicle for yes. both of them obviously but I want to do things here in Lexington so I am proud to be from Kentucky yes. it is something that means more to me okay. than you could ever imagine and there's a lot of problems that we have in our state yes. right now and we might just be a little old car shop in Lexington, but we're going to do some good. Yeah, we are. I, I care about Lexington. I care about the 859, the 270, yep. everything. We're going to figure that Lord out. Lord knows I want to help people in the East. Yes. You know, I, I care so much. Whenever I was at KSR, I, uh, I was actually able to travel yeah. through Eastern Kentucky and cover a lot of football games, meet some amazing people out in Paintsville and Prestonsburg, Pine people Pine. from Harlan. I love that area. And we are going to do some stuff here You're in the right. shop we are. to help our state and to do a lot of good. Yes. And that's that's something big for me. That's something that I care deeply about. Um, but also, man, I'm just excited to learn. I'm excited yeah. to be in here every day. It's such a different – I can't even describe it. It's just different every uh-huh. day. It's, you know, we sit down and say – I've had a bunch of different jobs. I've done different internships. But it's – you know, always kind of been like we're having a meeting today we're doing this and this and this today it was like okay so we're having a signing next week right. what are the logistics of this how are we ordering jerseys from fanatics right. how are we doing this and it's like this is dope getting this, this is getting dope. the stanchions out getting all the things for covid where it's not just anybody can have a signing how do we have it the best yes. where everything is smooth and well, yeah, you could do this one station, but let's get three people make it super smooth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, so, you know, how do we have the athlete be like, man, this was so cool. I can't wait to come back in. Here right. Again. Right. Like, this is so cool, man. I love these guys. Right. And I can't wait to have I might just come walk in and hang out. Right. That will be out next Monday. Yes. By the way, the signing information and stuff. So, yes. stay tuned. That's going to be really cool. We're so excited. Well, cool. Well, anything else you want to tell them? Or, um, I mean, please, like, the one thing about me is you can come hang out with me and shoot it and have a good time right uh there's not a person i don't love right so i'm just so excited i'm so blessed uh through all the weird jobs and stuff the one thing that i wanted more than anything was to be back here in lexington yeah. and it was one of those things that i applied for jobs at home depot and lowe's right. and right. all of that I'm like man i just gotta be back I just, I just want to be back there. My girlfriend lives here. And if you come in, you'll meet her. Right. She's got her own stool. She's up got there. her own stool. He's got his own stool. Yeah. And right. let me tell you something. She, she, if there's a sports argument or something, she knows her stuff. She so does. don't. Like Kathy. They yeah. know their stuff. But like, don't, don't test yeah, it. Yeah, don't test it. Um, but I was like, I, I want to be back so bad. I yeah. want to be there. I want to, you know, I miss my food yes. spots. I miss Kentucky baseball. Right. I miss Emily. I miss all these folks. And then, you know, you and I had this blessing to meet yes. last it was February, yeah. I think, in Louisville. That's right. And then came to a game with you. Yeah. And then quarantine hit. Yep. And it just kind of so happened that we had, me, you, and Connell had kind of yep. developed that friendship. And it, one thing led to another. You know, a lot of things happened in between. But, you know, I'm back in Lexington. But the cool thing is, is we get to do something that is so cool and so different. Yes. And so unique. And yes. so happy. Like, there's not really a word to really describe it except happy. Like, you have to it's understand. It's a joy. Yeah. It's a joy. Like, Jimmy has a lot of little sayings that he drops in. But, you know, how can we do this with gen- just genuine joy? Yes. Authenticity. Yes. Authenticity. And let me tell you something. When you come in here and you see us, we're happy and we're fist bumping you because, you know, no handshakes. Right. But, uh, you know, when we're fist bumping you and smiling with our eyes over our mask and yeah. everything, like... That's like we don't turn that off, right? No, like, it's a real deal. Like yeah. we're like, man, I can't wait to see them again. Yeah, I'm so excited. We talk about it when everybody leaves, like, man, I can't wait till they come back. We're gonna... Like we we've had people, you know, kind of coming in here just looking in the windows, and we talk to them for an hour outside. Yeah, because we are just like, how are you? Can't wait. What's going on? 
Come see us. What it's for. This isn't a normal card shop. This is the headquarters for a community. Yes. This is something that when you come in here, you know, I remember growing up as a kid, nobody really collected cards. Right. It was almost like kind of the nerdy, you know, collecting things kind of thing. And like, I longed for a community like that. Right. And now it's everywhere, you know. Now you get to help create one. Yeah. And I'm so excited to do that with you guys. Uh, And let me tell you something. This video is about 20 minutes long. This is usually how the conversations go. Right. Here. We're sitting around this big booth back here, and we can't wait to have you guys here with us. It's, it's how it is, and it's how we like it to be. So, I'm just really glad you're here. Obviously, it was a dream of mine after getting to know you early on. I was like, that guy, I want to hire him. And you'll see in person when you come and meet that authenticity and that joy that we talk about, which is absolutely essential to all of this. You can get cards yeah. anywhere. Um, but one more, you can't get that everywhere. Yeah, one more thing. So I'm doing the Instagram, the Kentucky Roadshow Shop. Yes, that's largely me. Yes, so Roadshow Shop Instagram. If you guys have a question about a card, hours, anything, anything you can DM that, and it's me. So yes. please shoot me. A I know on my personal account, Kentucky Basketball Cards, I can't get to all. It gave me anxiety looking at your DMs. It, 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 Get me too. That's why I have to stop. But so if you were, if you, you know, need Kentucky Roadshow Shop DM, he is going to answer you and he will answer you quickly and fast. And it doesn't bother me. We've right. had a bunch of different things yeah. in the last little bit. Yeah. And it's like, hey, how are you know? Yeah. And just just shoot me a message. Shoot him you can also follow me on yeah. Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Uh, Instagram, it's at Trey Songs. Trey right. underscore Songs. Jimmy, when he posts this, will tag me. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And then on Twitter, at Trey Huntsman SEC. Yep. Uh, anything else? You find me, you can shoot me a message. I can't wait for y'all to get to know him the way I have. I think you'll have a ball. I think you'll be a lot of people's guy, especially with the baseball. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I can't so, wait. Yeah. So thank you all for listening. Thank you all for checking it out. I want to do this with David as well and anybody who becomes part of the team here. Because you get to know about them, and then that can be your go-to. So, thank you, as always, and... um, Go Cats. Go Cats, that's right. Talk to you all soon. See you in the shop soon. Bye.